the channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Uh, today we have a good one. It's raining outside. It makes you feel like you want some comfort food. Uh, but before we dive into this recipe, I wanted to show you we got the new long sleeve shirts in. Thanks to Mike at the Nutra Shop. And then on the back, we have the Nutra Shop logo. So these are just in. Uh, if you are interested in these, please, uh, you can message me through YouTube or you can message me through Instagram. Both accounts are linked on the page. A special shout out this week to Greg Freck. He helped me uh, with a program achieve over 100 subscribers. So now we are over 100 subscribers. It's going to allow us to do many different things on the channel. Basically, it makes you, you're legit when you're over 100. So thank you, Greg. I appreciate you so much. Cannot thank you for the, your, uh, your help with this. Great guy. And um, so getting into the recipe now, uh, uh, I'm going to do a fun one today. We're going to be doing fried chicken, gravy, and sweet potato. This has kind of got that holiday upcoming feel to it. The cool thing about this one is you can meal prep this one, and you can do this one every day if you want to. The macros are on point. You're basically just taking good carbohydrates, clean protein in the chicken, and um, we're just adding minimal ingredients to make it really look like it's going to be a lot more uh, indulgent than it is, but it's really at a macronutrient level, still basically chicken and sweet potato, which is, if you follow any type of exercise nutrition, kind of a staple in the workout world. So anyways, long story short, let's get into this recipe. Only need a couple ingredients. There goes the oven telling us it's time to preheat and start this up. So let's go. What we're going to need, we will slide over here first, is chicken. Now what I have done here is I've been marinating this basically for four or five hours. You could do it overnight. This is a mixture of um, pickle juice, paprika, salt, pepper, and garlic. Uh, this is actually something I got off the Chick-fil-A recipe to make your chicken um, the most flavorful possible. Highly recommend this. So just water, pickle juice, salt, pepper, paprika, let it marinate for a while, and then we're gonna take these out and we're going to pound these down to make them thinner. Uh, we also have, uh, we're gonna need an egg. We're gonna need some all-purpose flour, and we're also gonna need a little bit of baking powder. Um, we're also going to be using one of these baking sheets. I've used these in many recipes. Uh, if you have an air fryer, you could probably do an air fryer as well, but this will allow us to do multiple breasts. We're gonna do a little food prep recipe. Then we're going in the oven 400 degrees for 20 minutes. So let's get in. What you want to do guys is unfold your chicken breast. I'm actually going to trim these, but you're going to get a blunt object. If you have a tenderizing hammer, that would be best. But basically I don't have one of those uh, with me currently. So all you're going to do is just pound these down. You could use a coffee mug, basically anything really loud because I want to show you how much force you're going to use. And you're going to really flatten these out. The reason being, it tenderizes the meat to make it much more, uh, you know, just tastes a lot better. Cooks more evenly and cooks a lot faster too. Gives it more of a fried chicken type taste. So basically we're going to flatten these out and then we're going to trim these before we put them on our rack. Once you have trimmed them, you're going to just take them and basically put them, um, cut them in half and make them more like, uh, more like cutlets. We want them more like cutlets because it's going to cook better that way, more evenly. It's also going to fit on our bread better and obviously take that better picture, which is uh, so important in the YouTube Instagram. What we've done is taken a little bit of the marinade from the chicken, added an egg in a, uh, a bowl. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dip the chicken in the wash and move it over to uh, the breading. The breading is, this is 70 grams of all-purpose organic flour, uh, paprika, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and baking powder. Um, I did six grams of baking powder, the rest is kind of seasoned to taste. But, uh, so we're gonna mix this together and I'm gonna show you how there we're gonna go. go, guys. Again, we're going wash, flour, to the rack. And check this out. Nicely coated, very macro friendly. Uh, chicken breast, each one of these is just getting a little bit of flour by the time it's done and a tiny bit of egg. So add just a little bit of extra calories to your chicken, but the amount of flavor, crispness, and texture is going to be awesome. 
We're going in the oven now, 400 degrees for 15 minutes. For our sweet potato to add to this, um, you could, I obviously have done sweet potatoes many a times. As I said, it's one of my favorites, so I've cooked them often. I'm going to do this for the sake of um, convenience, just do one of these simple sweet potatoes. You can get these at most grocery stores. Uh, you just basically throw them in the oven. Uh, I'm sorry, the microwave for six to eight minutes. Um, they come out great. I don't love that they are being cooked in plastic, but if you want something quick on the go, these are great. Um, same macros, same, basically it's a sweet potato, just it made it more convenient to cook. Um, so I'm going to throw this in the microwave while the chicken's getting ready and show you how that comes out. Hey guys, the last part of this recipe is we're gonna need a little bit of this home style chicken gravy, great macros on this. Uh, if you could find an organic version, it would definitely be better. But for convenience sake, this is a great option, simple. And as I've done before, um, when we made up the chicken, and, I'm sorry, the biscuits and gravy, we're gonna add just a little bit of this casein protein in the place of um, regular flour to thicken it up. And the last thing we're gonna do is use some of this pure maple flavored syrup. This is gonna go on top of our sweet potato uh, to really uh, make that more indulgent. Great macros on this and flavored with stevia, I'm sorry, sweet. What you're gonna do for your gravy, got a quarter cup of the gravy and then about three tablespoons of the casein protein just to thicken it up and you have thick chicken gravy to go on top of our fried chicken. Right, the fried chicken is out. It is, I actually did 20 minutes um, at 400 degrees and man does this smell amazing. It's got a super crispy texture just like fried chicken. Smells like fried chicken. Obviously has a little bit of that white coating on it. That's probably from the baking powder to dry it out so it makes it more crispy. Um, but we're gonna add some gravy over that or you could just throw this on a sandwich or cut this up like a wrap and drizzle it up with some dressing mustard ketchup, whatever you want to do. But well, we're going to be doing this southern fried chicken recipe and um, let's let this cool and get this Guys, place. This is your chicken fried steak with protein comfort food. Okay guys, check this out. As I made this, it went from fried chicken to basically chicken fried steak, healthy chicken fried steak, which is actually baked.